This year's WPL has seen new levels of success. Just before we move on to the glitzy men's IPL in a few days, here's Forbes India's pick of the best 11 of the WPL, starting with the bowlers and moving to the batters. Let us know if your favourites made it to the list. At number 11 is Shabnim Ismail of the Mumbai Indians, one of the few fast bowlers to do well in this tournament. She became the fastest bowler in women's cricket by clocking 132.1 km per hour against Delhi Capitals at the Arun Jaitley Stadium. Number 10 is Jess Jonathan of the Delhi Capitals. The experienced Australian scalped 11 wickets in 7 matches to end up as the 4th top wicket taker of the WPL 2024. She contributed with the bat as well in a couple of matches and her best performance came in the first match against RCB where she took 3 wickets and scored an unbeaten 36 runs in 16 balls. Number 9 is Asha Shobna of RCB. She started the tournament on a dream note, taking 5 wickets by conceding just 22 runs in the first match against UP Warriors. Her spell of 2-14 in the final helped RCB bundle Delhi for a meagre total of 113 runs. Next at number 8 is Shriyanka Patil, also of the RCB. Patil was phenomenal with the ball throughout the WPL 2024. The spinner picked up 13 wickets in 8 matches. She produced a magical performance with the ball in the final as well, taking 4 wickets by giving away just 12 runs in her 4 overs. At number 7 is Marizan Kapp, who scalped 11 wickets in 7 matches, ending as the 4th highest wicket taker in WPL 2024. Her spell of 4 overs, 1 maiden, 5 runs and 3 wickets against the UP Warriors at the M. Chinnaswamy Stadium was one of the best spells of the tournament. Next at number 6 is Richa Ghosh of the Royal Challengers Bangalore, their wicketkeeper. She was also quite active behind the stumps, taking care of most of the catches and stumping. She even scored the winning runs for RCB in the final. Number 5 is the Delhi Capitals' is Jemima Rodericks, who scored 235 runs in 9 matches with a staggering strike rate of 153.59. She hit two fifties in the tournament, studded by 26 fours and 8 sixes. Her 33 ball, 69 run knock against the Mumbai Indians, where she tore off a strong Mumbai attack, was one of the highlights of the tournament. She was electrifying on the field as well, taking a few really good catches. Number 4 is the UP Warriors' is Dipti Sharma, who was in exceptional form this season with both the bat and the ball, ending up as the best all-rounder of the WPL 2024. She made 295 runs with the bat and picked up 10 wickets with the ball as well. Although UP Warriors had a sorry tournament with 5 losses in 8 matches, her all-round brilliance stood out. Number 3 on our list is Ellis Perry of the Royal Challengers Bangalore. Give her the bat in hand and she'll score big runs. Give her the ball and she will take big wickets. Perry is that kind of player. She was at her very best this season and probably the main reason that RCB was able to win the WPL. Even in the finals, Perry held one side and made an unbeaten 37 runs to ensure that RCB gets home with 8 wickets in hand. Number 2 is the Delhi Capitals' Shefali Verma. The right-handed batter would come out and start hitting big shots from ball 1 to put the opposition under stress. She scored 309 runs in 9 matches at a brilliant strike rate of 156.87. The 20-year-old also hit the most number of sixes in the tournament, 20 in 7 matches. At number 1 is the Royal Challengers Bangalore captain Smriti Mandana, who at the start of the tournament looked a bit rusty. However, as things got underway, she regained her form gradually. Her first good knock came against the Gujarat Giants in RCB's second match of the season, firing 43 runs in 27 balls, steering RCB to an easy win. Her best knock of the tournament came against the UP Warriors a couple of matches later, where she struck 80 of 50. Mandana was also instrumental as the captain of the RCB and played a vital role in helping them win their maiden WPL trophy.